Donations continue to roll in for the fourth annual Roanoke Valley Gives Day. It's a 24 hour window for the community to step up and help raise money for local organizations. 10 News reporter Jessica Jewell is live from the Community Foundation's headquarters in downtown Roanoke. And Jessica, how are they doing so far? Well, Brittany, the goal is to raise $800,000 for more than 150 organizations in our area by midnight tonight. They've got a whole team of people here tracking every dollar that comes in. Take a look behind me just after 5 o'clock. They've got more than $610,000. So they're doing pretty good. And hey, this is good news for nonprofits in our area trying some creative strategies to get some money today. I promised you that I would get uh, tortured for each donation that was given. Big Brothers Big Sisters pulling out all the stops for Roanoke Valley Gives Day. We have five eggs. Um, we had five donors in that 11 to 12 o'clock hour. So Channeling the power of social media um, and a somewhat yeah. silly strategy. Uh, Let's get this one over with next hour on the hour. Golly! <laughs> what? <laughs> Did you have to keep them in the fridge? It's oh! For a serious cause to keep the nonprofit afloat, donations. Oh my gosh, they're, they're life and death to us. The annual day of giving reinforcing the need for community support to expand their mentoring program. If you don't have the time to be a big or don't have the interest but see the value in it, donating is the greatest way to impact kids' lives in Roanoke. A sentiment echoed by Angels of Assisi. It means a lot to us because we couldn't do the work we do without the help from the community. It's the same story at Feeding America Southwest Virginia. And these are the turkey burgers that we're going to cook up for the kids tomorrow. Giving people the opportunity to learn culinary skills for free. The fact that I didn't have to worry about paying back, you know, that was a lot, a lot of pressure off my shoulders because, you know, I didn't really have enough to pay my bills at home either at first because I wasn't working at all. The goal is to make them competitive in the job market, and for Constance Smith, it worked. So, Chef, how many are we doing today? She landed a full-time job in the same kitchen where she started, now helping thousands of people through the same organization that helped her. Giving back is like all I love doing. So doing cooking for the kids and making the meals for the kids and knowing that I'm feeding them healthy food. It is an awesome, awesome feeling. Those are just a few examples of how your donations are being put to very good use here in the Roanoke Valley. The donations keep rolling in just since we saw you last at the beginning of this story. It's jumped up about $6,000. Keep them coming. They'll be here till midnight tonight. You can find out how to give on our website, WSLS.com. Live in Roanoke, I'm Jessica Jewell, 10 News, working for you.